now. We opened up the playpen. <laughs> we took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And black oh, yeah. people don't take a bath. Oh my god. They got these, they get these what they call ringworms in their head. Oh my god. And the talk about lice. Oh my god. And the women are just as they. Oh god, no. I was like, who would do this? Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I had one of them. Yeah, how's everything going? Uh, not too bad. They sentenced me to two years and then gave me a state of execution until this coming Wednesday. I'm supposed to go over and report Wednesday if we don't get anything else done, but they, my attorney filed the appeal, and, and my attorney secretary called my attorney secretary and had her tell him to write a motion to suspend the sentence and put on the motion that there is no objection from the prosecution and that he would sign it. So, so what's that mean in a nutshell? Okay. Yeah, that's all I care about. Mike Cherie, Scott Wilson entered a no contest plea to involuntary manslaughter and the death of Heather Gentry. Investigators say she was injured back in 1985 when she was only six weeks old and ended up in a vegetative state until she died in 2006. She was 21 years old. Prosecutors say Wilson admitted to shaking Gentry the day she was injured. He was. Oh, and Barry, thanks again for talking shit about my dead mother, buddy. Is that why Ryan don't have a mom around? Yeah. That's David. Yeah, she's up your ass. I see what you know, son. You look like a walking cancer patient, David. You know what I mean? I mean, what the fuck do you mean by that, Gary? Like Tell these motherfucking people, what the fuck do you mean by that? Why do you mean by he looks like a walking cancer patient? What is your meaning behind that? So you can't say, oh, they're editing my shit, making me say these things. No, Barry. So I'm going to jump off here, Barry. This proves you further, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. This is good shit. Don't so, bitch. Barry, what we walked past him once, right? He don't say nothing, but... I'm not going to say the second time what we were doing, but we, me and Dad were standing there. We were talking there. to somebody from up in this area. That's all I'm going to yeah. say about it. And we were talking to this person, Barry walks by and starts smelling off. We talked to three different people that see, that knows us from the motherfucking channel. <laughs> they get on that camera, on God, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, and they, they all probably should say about Barry Beamer. He's probably going to be banned from the pumpkin room, but... <laughs> So I'm gonna put in clips some of the posts. This man's so tough. He's gonna. Bitch ass <laughs> I told you what I was gonna say to him. I mean, he, is he a was bitch. gonna mop the floor with us, but he just steady talk shit. No <laughs> kids around. This dude didn't give a shit about anybody else at that event, dude. I mean, <laughs> you're a stupid, ignorant fuck, Barry. Dude. You're my bitch. See we'll be back for the bitch. pumpkin run, though, buddy. And yeah, I got tiny hands. Bye, baby. Uh huh. <laughs> he didn't say nothing.
<laughs> oh, that's good shit. So the video you guys just saw was me and dad walking by Bear the first time. Didn't say a motherfucking thing. <laughs> Kept walking like the good little bitch he is. Remember guys, he was gonna, the rivers were gonna run red with our blood if we came to his neck of the woods. Then we're standing there talking to the third person of the day that fucking was like, hey, we know who you are. What's up? Hey, I got something I wanna talk to you about. And, and it brings us, hands us these fucking papers about Barry, which we'll read them again to that shit later. But fucking, we're standing there, we must've been talking for two hours standing there talking yeah. to this guy. And Barry comes back. Comes up right behind me, dude. But he's a tough guy. What's Barry? What's tough guys do like Barry, guys? Get loud in front of a crowd of people. Start Keep screaming. Keep on his little kids around. Start screaming at the top of their lungs. Letting motherfuckers hold him back. I mean, nothing but air and opportunity, Beamer. You could have put your hands on me. If you was about it, you wouldn't have said shit. If, 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 if I had ever called you out and I was going to get you, there would have been that screaming. I would have walked up behind you. I would have paid attention to when you wasn't paying attention, and I would have got you. It would have been quiet. The motherfucking the dude starts screaming as loud as he can, so everybody, I mean, there's like fucking 500 people around. <laughs> Let the evidence speak for itself. He's a bitch. So I didn't get all this. I, we were talking, and this person didn't want to be on camera, so I had my phone tucked in my pocket. Um, when they walked up and was handing us this, they told me they want to be on the live. At first, I, I was, didn't know what the fuck yeah. was going on. I didn't know if this was a summons, a court order. Which, I, didn't, I mean, some stranger walked up to me, and, and but I noticed him following me. Him and a dude with a beard that Barry was walking yeah. with kept following me. Because when that video, Barry was walking with some dude with a beard. Yeah. And that dude kept popping up right, right where we're at, right where we're at, right where we're at. Then I noticed this guy kept, and he would say, you find a nice dude, you know what I mean? He would talk. I wasn't sure he looked like a cop. I didn't know what the fuck it was about. So he handed us his papers and we started walking walking away. He said winning when he handed us the papers. You guys winning or whatever. And fucking, I, when he was walking away, I was, like, I was like, hey, look at the date on them. See what the date is. Because I, I didn't know what was going on. You know what I mean? October 21st, 2021. I didn't know Barry done calling a bomb threat. Said we'd come down here to murk his ass or something. So, and it was cops. I didn't know what the fuck to deal with. So again, this anonymous person, I deleted the live because they were on it talking and I, they don't want to be on it they want no part of it so i deleted the live i did save the key moment which is barry walking past is not doing a fucking thing but us and this third person were talking but we talked to another vendor which we're not gonna get into that he just said Two oh other. yeah There's three people total yeah. man. and one of the vendors said that he was never mind we're not gonna get into that but thank you to the person that handed us these we really appreciate these, it you watch our people channel that he thinks is his friends ain't his fucking friends dude i mean these people he shots on his channel they are not his friends dude yeah. They are not his friends. I'm telling you. Uh, on God, man. From personal experience today. Yeah, I mean. So, and that person. I, I talked to two, three people. One of them was really close to him. That, that would know. The other two was just people that he's calling on his channel as friends. That ain't his fucking friends. So, with that being. That he's fucked over and ripped yeah. off and shot their houses up and shit. I mean, it's just ridiculous shit, dude. And I don't mean like gangster style. I'm talking about like. Like, shot a hole in the wall of the dude's garage and then put a board over and try to hide it. Type shit. Which that's where he got the shotgun shit. from. I mean, but with that being said, this is how, and I took out my phone. Little battery started running in his mouth because fuck it, you're gonna act a fool. I'm gonna record right. it. Right, I mean. And before this, he's like, you don't know what they did to me. And I looked at him and said, you're a fucking pedo. You wanna see the proof? And I, he goes, I don't care what the fucker proof says. And then he starts flipping me off. Well, in this video, he's fucking just running his mouth and I'm laughing because it's fucking funny to watch a four foot nothing dude act all hard. It is fucking hilarious. Now I have by I told you he was short as fuck. I he is guys, he is fucking tiny. Little man complex, dude. Dude, his whole life he's been a fuck up. Dude, I got the whole story on it, dude. <laughs> Which we'll get when, into. When I, everything I said about his mom and dad and shit and him is all true. Every fucking bit of it. I told you I done talk. I, I didn't say nothing to him, but I didn't have two people contact me when I was in Indiana and told me the story. And if the guy wouldn't have minded us recording him and shit, then I would've, it would've proved it. I mean, Barry, you're an idiot. These, nobody likes you, Barry. Everybody knows who you are. I mean, when I say that his, his mom, when he would pull up, his mom would fucking curl up like, oh God, what you want and just get nervous and sick, dude. I'm not lying, dude. I like, mean, he was in jail in 1994 for writing a bat, writing a, rewriting a prescription. In fact, check it out, man. We'll get into it all later on that. 
But we got the skinny on, on his drug charges in 94, what it was all about. Barry is addicted to painkillers, folks. And he smokes pot at the very least. But for sure, pot and painkillers. Has been since the 90s. And then he caught his felony in the 90s and starts going to his mom all the time. I can't hold a job. I got a felony. Nobody hired me. That's Which why we'll get into that later. He had got him. Like I told you before, I didn't tell the, the dude, the last dude we was talking to, because I just wanted to hear his side of it. But the other two people that contacted me told me that he kept getting evicted from place to place. To, I'm surprised he didn't ask me how I knew it. Because it's a true story. That's why mom and dad bought him. He had no place else to go. He couldn't rent no more places. He was evicted. I mean... You guys almost say is this little man he is short as fuck and he acted so hard like i i couldn't mm -hmm. give a straight face dude i just dude, that's not acting hard that's that's being stupid listen man there's a little girl listen. in the video that you're about to see and she's in her grandpa's lap little man's little girl's face out i'm gonna try because if that little girl's in the picture it's not gonna be on here yeah. because she's a little kid and i don't i don't like little kids on here now. anyway listen man people that's about it are not going to stand in a crowd of 500 people. First of all, when they were feeding you the first time, then they would start, I would start, they would start watching you. And they would wait for their opportunity and they would just walk up and get you. They're not going to fucking get, uh, you'll see what he does. They don't do that. People that's about it, don't do that. People that's looking for attention, trying to act hard, trying to be tough, trying to be tough, does what he did. And anybody watching this knows I'm telling the truth. You can say whatever you want. I've never once said I was going to beat Barry Beaver's ass. I've never once promised him an ass whipping. I told him if you want to do it, let's get a ring because I want it legit. This is how funny it is, right? Mm -hmm. We're all standing there. We've been standing for an hour. And the guy in the booth behind us, which escorts Barry out of the premises that you've seen this video, escorting Barry out, We after it's done, he goes, just in case he comes back, why don't you guys go ahead and leave? And he, I was like, okay, cool. Because we was walking yeah. out when the dude handed us these papers three hours ago. We would I mean, still be standing there talking, but Barry wanted to act a fool and just get attention like a little girl. But Right, I mean. But it's fucking hilarious, you guys. Just watch this. He keeps flipping me off, which I... You want to see a bitch, you're about to see a bitch. This is how fucking bitches act. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind that wanted to fight would have done that. They, they would have waited by your car for you, because he knows what we drive. He would have found my car and waited by it. He he would have he would have been quiet about it and walked up and, and been like let's go motherfucker he would at least, and we'd have handled it. Well, he would at least as when we were left, he would have been out standing by Ryan's car by the road. Right. I mean, they he, were all up in the fucking behind the garage. If he wanted me, he would have got his car and waited for me to pull out and follow me to a gas station or something. They wouldn't do. Listen, what I'm getting at is, nobody's about something would have done what he did. In, it's a, in, in front of in front of 500 well, fucking witnesses. Especially when he's I mean, he's threatening to break my legs, my dad's legs, my dad's face. He wants to take me and dad on two on both at a time. I don't know if that's some horny. kind of weird I mean, like thing, but Ryan's scared to death. Look yeah. at the fucking video, dude. You don't you think you think Ryan wants to fight somebody? Watch this shit. This is how much he loves that fucking kid. Ryan's a nervous wreck while I'm standing there laughing because that's all I can do is laugh at him. Certainty, Ryan is in bankruptcy because of Barry. Yep. A hundred percent without a fucking doubt. With 100% certainty, Barry... He had a $10,000... He had a $10,000 balance four years ago, three years ago, something like that. The kid was making $500 a month payments on it. As soon as he had to move in with Barry, stop making the fucking payments because he has to pay Barry's lights. He has to buy Barry's cigarettes. He has to buy Barry's fucking... Pay the, pay the fucking car insurance. All the bills this kid's What's... paying on a Kroger salad. And you know that kid drives two hours a day to go to work and back an hour each way? Exactly. I kid you not, and he works at fucking Kroger's. I was funny when this friend walked up and started talking. <laughs> but I'm going to put the clip in here. I'm going to put something over this little girl's face because keep in mind, this old man's on a scooter, right? We're all just standing there. Barry walks up and this old man's coming down the scooter with his granddaughter or his daughter yeah, Barry don't in care. his car. He, he, and Barry's walking towards he's her. loud as fuck, dude. I mean, he, he's, he's insane. The man's insane. He's a pussy, though. He's a 100% pussy. Unless he's got friends with him, he's a pussy. Because how many of you, if you wanted to fight somebody, would have pulled what he did? Or would you have just got him? They come to you for you to get him like you Especially said he was going to do. Especially after you threatened us several times. I mean, he's, he's a, a punk. He's this a punk. seals Barry's a bitch. And Barry, we know you'll watch this. We'll be seeing you again in October. And once again, you didn't put your hands on me, did you? You didn't even get within two feet of me with your stinking breath. He smelled. Because... Because you wanted to fight so bad that you had to get so loud that other people going to come in between. Not that I was going to do anything anyway, because you're going to put your hands on me. You promised me the ass pussy. You see how me. fucking dirty his shirt was? He's fucking... 
and, and lounging pants like you're nasty you couldn't even you couldn't even clean up to go in public i mean and you and according to the person we were talking to you came from good people which we already knew that but you came I from a good that. person the, the, the and and your dad was a construction worker not a fucking whatever the fuck you keep calling him i mean i know your dad whooped your motherfucking ass i know your fucking dad you blame your daddy for being deaf in your motherfucking ear now what bitch you tell me people like you nobody likes you motherfucker you, you lazy prick you, you should have i bet you wish you got your ass out of bed and went to work that motherfucking day didn't you motherfucker <laughs> But your daddy liked you, didn't he? Fuck <laughs> ass bitch. No, he knew what he was, is what it is. I mean, exactly what he showed he is. A bitch. You're a bitch. Men don't act like that, Barry. Men wouldn't scare little kids. Men wouldn't do everything well, else just, when to, you, just to try to look tough. When you handed me your bag and your keys and start taking off your jacket, that's what he really yeah, because, started Because me. I didn't, I, I was, if he came at me, I didn't want it in my jacket. My jacket off because once he puts his hands on me, that allows me to, to defend myself. That's what it would take for me to fight somebody. You can call me names, you can call me a bitch, you can call me what you want to call me. I'm not gonna put my hands on you for that. Those are words, motherfucker. And we got told that they're thinking about banning him from the pumpkin run, yeah, for that video he put already, out with that lady. Barry, you fucked yourself, dude, because they was already gonna ban you. And I had a vendor tell me this, not just the dude we was talking to or the other dude. The vendor told me this from your stupid shit last year with that lady calling her a fat bitch and everything else when she got on you. They was already thinking about banning you from the pumpkin run. Now that you pulled this shit, we'll see. We know who I'm talking about who is affiliated with the whole situation down there. We'll see if you're w welcome back to the pumpkin run. We'll see. I'm going to be there. I mean, you showed your ass because we didn't do anything. Did we walk on across you? No. no you saw us. Did I stand there and talk shit with you, Barry? No, because I told you I wasn't. I said, put your fucking hands on That's all you gotta do. You know, so he didn't deny it. My, I called him a pedo and he goes, you're a pedo. I was like, you wanna see the proof of your one? I don't care what the proof says. <laughs> I told you, somebody like him, you just laugh at him, dude. He's a joke. <laughs> Every time I'd laugh at this motherfucker, he would get so bad. But what do you do when a fucking elf on a shelf is walking towards you? He looked like fucking Papa Smurf. <laughs> oh, God, dude, watch this video. He spits all, I told you he spits. He's spitting all over this dude, man. I mean. I even apologized to the booth and shit where he's standing. He goes, we know it wasn't you. We're, he goes, just in case he comes back. I was like, yeah, we got you. We're out. Yeah, I mean, why stay? I mean, he's going to he's gonna come back up and ruin everybody's fucking time. We was leaving anyway. It's not that big, guys. I mean, Barry made it sound like this is some kind of huge... The, the two the swap the, the Mopar swap meet is bigger than that and, and the swap meet that we went to in Indy I don't know a couple months back is three times the size of that swap meet I'm not not gonna swap meet I, mean, for, I like the swap meet the prices are right at this swap meet I'll give yeah. Barry that I mean for but. for oh yeah there was Mach one seats I don't know if you guys watched the live there's Mach one seats that weren't pleated by the way Barry with red whatever the fuck so fuck you on that one you're wrong um and they were sixty nine seventy by the way just so you know um but you'll just gonna see let's okay. sit there for 10 13 minutes and i'm waiting for a blue fucking piece of shit roadmaster to pull up man he because he he's a pussy dude only a pussy would do what he did he did that for attention man listen folks there was little kids there there was he didn't give a shit dude he, he instead of just fighting, there's a little girl standing in front instead, of him instead of just instead of just coming up and saying you ready motherfucker and, and putting his hands on me like he promised and, he was gonna do and guys go find any video where i threatened to shoot barry <laughs> right. He's a fucking clown. Listen, man, you will never find a video of either one of us threatening Barry in any shape or form. Not, not, never, not even saying that we wanted to fuck with Barry in any shape or form. Not fight Barry. Not, I simply took the Mr. Obvious shit away so he couldn't talk about it. he would stomp me to death if he seen me, which I just proved he wouldn't do because he's a chump. He's a bitch. I mean, I, I, has, so I offered to rent a has, ring. I offered to come to his house, but you're has, gonna sign a fucking release, releasing me from legal liability and financial liability. Yeah, he says come to my, come to my drive. You motherfuckers come to my driveway. Right. Like, right. like you're already there. Why the fuck? I mean, I'm confused if he was asking us if we've been to his driveway or if he's telling us to come to his driveway. You can't tell because of the way he acts. Look at how this fool acts, man. And I want to point something out on a serious note. Like Dad said, Ryan was in tears almost when this was going on. Like literally, almost in tears. And Barry didn't give a fuck as long as Barry got some attention like the little girl he is. Ryan, no hard feelings, dude. He is your daddy. I mean, I mean, like like the last man we was talking to said, man, he's all you got. I mean, Barry has one other daughter for sure named and, Christine. Yep. 
And then maybe another one that he that and he never did shit for these kids, man. Then As, not, none of them people know about his grandkids. Just like the two people that contacted me on the internet, dude, over Barry from up in this area, said they don't know nothing about grandkids. Dude. You know what I mean? You know it's fucked up. He calls us dirty, right? But me and you both cleaned up for this event. Cleaned up for this event. You act like we just took a bath to come. Well, to this we just event. took a bath just to come to this event. Yeah, yeah. we don't take a bath <laughs> any other day. I mean, the point is, he comes with a dirty white shirt that's literally sh stained black. I mean, he's a fucking chump. He's a straight up. He's somebody that would threaten to whip somebody's ass would just do it. It wouldn't even matter if that dude was standing there. I mean, uh, he could say, I didn't want to. I'll give you an out, Barry. Maybe you didn't want to sucker punch me. Maybe that's what you call it. Um, you didn't have to do that. Barry. You could have walked. Why did you Why did you walk clear around, dude? And then start running your mouth. Why didn't you walk up to my face and run your mouth and then put your hands on me like you promised? Watch this. That's what I'm saying, guys. Watch. People that act like this, they're, they're cowards. Now, now would, he, would they shoot you? Barry would shoot you in the back in a heartbeat if he thought he Same man that jumps you, would yeah. jump somebody would suck without, without a doubt, dude, he, he would shoot you. I mean, if he could get away, if he thought he could get away with it. But if, I don't, you're probably not gonna see the whole thing, but Barry, we're standing there talking and we're at the end of the runway thing there, dude. And you'll see how it's set up. He comes from way behind us and instead of walking- Circles us. Instead of coming up to us, he starts screaming back here before he even gets to us. So the whole world can see what he's doing. How many people you think there's gonna gonna let, let anything break off? I mean, you 500 fucking people. You think they're gonna be like, oh yeah, man? Well, I find it funny. A dude I mean, down the aisle. He starts yelling. He starts yelling from behind. You can hear him yelling, and I just keep talking. Ignore him. Instead of coming up to us, he walks out and around across the road and starts talking shit. Screaming. I find it funny, I mean, dude. Barry's walking away, and some dude goes a little less talky, a little more doing it. Right, right. <laughs> I hope you got that. I mean, <laughs> do it, motherfucker. I mean, that, that, okay. See, the, that dude, he, he understands. That's not even a man. That's how an adult would handle it. If the adult wants to scrap, they're going to scrap. They're not going to fucking, they're not going to start getting loud so a bunch of people get involved. They're going to at least want to get their licks in before the cops come. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to want to get loud for the cops to come so you can't fight. That's what he was doing. He was trying to get attention. So he could say, I'm hard. When you can go home at night and look in the mirror, I called him out. Oh, you, I don't care if you call me out. You're a bitch. What do you mean you called me out? You threatened somebody and then you don't put your hands on them? Yeah, you you, you don't call me out. You said if I come down here, it be bloodshed. That you was gonna, there's, if I come in down here, there's going to be bloodshed. You was going to whip us. Once again, I'm going to reiterate. Neither one of us has ever threatened to whip Barry. Go watch any video. We've never said we wanted to fight Barry. We've never said we was going to whip Barry's ass. And the reason I keep reiterating this, that means we owe him nothing. I don't owe to put my hands on him. I don't owe to go say anything to him. He's the one that owes me because he, wanna, he threatened us. He want to come in two feet of us. You know? No, that's what I'm saying. He, he could have just walked straight up to us, boom, and, and said, what's up, motherfucker, and pushed me. I mean, you know how many times I've been in, gotten in a fight like that by somebody actually, they walk up to you and, what's up, motherfucker? And, and you know, if somebody wants to fight, they're going to fight. Barry don't want to fight. Barry wants attention. Barry wants the appearance of being a tough guy. And that's all it is. You know what I mean? I mean. Hence why he didn't wait out for the road for me and dad to leave. Him and that other dude jumped that dude. And, and that, that buddy of his, who did he say was with him? Uh, Christ. Super Sam. Super Sam wasn't involved in that shit. Barry and another dude, he told me the other guy's name, I can't Craig remember. Craig something, I think. They jumped this fucking dude, and it's his true story. Barry, Barry's telling a story, but it was just Barry and this other dude. They, they beat this dude so bad, and Barry got out of it, but the other dude went to prison. Barry got out of it, but the other dude went to prison. Er, er, went to jail, let's put it that way. I don't know if it was prison, but the other dude got in trouble for it and ended up having to answer for it, and Barry got out of it because Barry's mom hired an attorney like she did with the drug charges. But he didn't get so much out of the drug charges. He had to eat that felony. But see, once he had to eat the felony, that gave him another excuse of why he can't get through life and get a job and, and work and shit. See what I'm saying? You following along? I mean. I'm gonna this, man, so, I can get back. so I'm gonna edit this video together, put together. I'm gonna try to edit this little girl's face out. I'm not sure if it caught her full face. I'm gonna try to edit her out, really. And if, you, and if, if, if he misses something to edit and you guys see any any children, I don't care about adults, but any children in the video, please holler back and say, hey, there's a kid's face, there's a little kid. So we can take that out because uh, cause I'm not a big fan of having children on the internet. I'm, I'm just Especially something Barry can whack it to. Well, plus, I mean, they're not my kid. I don't want their parents, you know what I mean? Why not it's deny a public place, so I don't have to do you it. You notice when I called, when I said, I can show the proof he didn't deny it. He didn't say, I never did that. He's a fucking he man. goes, I don't care what that says. That's owning up. That's that's saying, I, I did it. 
He's, 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 everything we said, I mean, it's the proof right there in black and white. You can't deny the proof. I mean, so we'll be back. Pumpkin run. I don't know if Barry will be because they're already talking about kicking him out. So, or banning him. So, I don't know. And Ryan, I'm sorry your dad put you through that, man. I mean, that's pretty fucked up. I mean, even this person said that you have, dis you're, you're disabled. For your dad to do that to you. And to make you that nervous, you could tell that you're that nervous. Like, you were nervous wreck, man. I'm so sorry for that. Your dad should have never ran his mouth. Your dad should have never tried to be hard. Even though he's four foot nothing and looks like an elf on a shelf. But, <laughs> looks like Papa Smurf with AIDS. So, uh, see you guys later tonight for a review. Because there will be one coming and we're going to read off these handy dandy papers and i think we'll get into more of what this person said again to this person thank you so much i know you watch this channel i really appreciate it i appreciate you actually introducing yourself and showing us these um really appreciate it um we'll read these later tonight and to everybody that watches the channel hope you guys enjoy and mako as you see barry's a fucking putz ass bitch i mean and uh, slap, slap at him. <laughs> He's so fucking cute. I'd start blowing him kisses. I mean, so uh, peace, Barry. Hope you got everything you wanted at the pumpkin run, or whatever the fuck you call this swap meet. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll call me a bitch and everything else, but the bitch would be the person that's threatened me on PlayStation Live like repeatedly, and the person that to this day has threatened me repeatedly. But then when they saw me face to face, started screaming like a schoolgirl, raising her voice, acting, well, like a bitch, a coward, and then not doing anything in front of a little girl that's literally on a scooter with her grandpa literally putting his hand out to like try to stop you from walking that way. Um, but yeah, Mako, you have nothing to worry about, man. You should come down for the pumpkin run, man. Be fun. And. The only person I didn't see Barry was Super Sam. What, what, what happened with that? Did he realize you're a fucking pedo? Because according to the person I was talking to, you're a great A manipulator, which is very true. But the difference is you can only bullshit people for so long and then the people catch on. And then like this one person you used to go run to your mom and talk about how bad this person was. And then they would not be your friend no more. And then you would fucking sucker up to them and then they'd be your friend. And that's how you do your friends. Like how you did Mr. Wilson. You out them as a fucking baby killer. Damn it, I forgot about that. I should have yelled that out there too. Damn it. But with that being said, get into how Barry was acting. Shit you guys came to see. So uh review coming tonight again. From the bottom of my heart, you are a really cool dude. And I, we appreciate you bringing these to us and uh talking to us. We really appreciate that. Damn, I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Anytime, boy! Anytime! Come on, Dad, let's go. Walk this is in the 70s, Dad. Kind of weird you want to fuck a 25 year old. Watch your mouth. Come the fuck on, around. motherfucker! Sir, go on, please. Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? You run your goddamn cocksuckers? Yeah, you, motherfucker! <laughs> Please, Dad. Come on, Dad. It's been that heat. Right. Just kidding. Come on, Dad.